What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of an interesting draft today. Uh, Mike's Mike's back and leg have been hurting, so it uh, hurts when he sits for too long, so we're doing a standing draft. Um, the desk is at maximum height. Mike is still cut off about, I don't know, three, four inches. And, uh, yeah, sure. And, um, yeah, and there's a, we have a, I have my, the LED that lights up my me when i'm streaming is right behind us now it's like directly behind us team draper has 27 trophies we have one that's unbelievable to me um so mike's face is going to be extremely white and uh my forehead is going to be a little it's going to look like i'm peeking over the the fence you know when we're when we're on the ranch and then the sun's going to be hitting you but you know uh so did you go make a live order real quick a live order? Yeah. What do you mean you have to go make it? Can't you just call right now? Yeah, but I don't know. My, card, my card's in the room. I forgot to. Go get your card, Michael, before this draft starts. I want you to run. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Run faster, Michael. So, is Crutch Jr. still here? We can try to do Reanimator. I have a serious question for Mike when he gets back. All right. Well, then you wait till he gets back. Ba boom, 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 boom. This is the first standing draft I've ever done. Ooh, I like a Silumgar. And I like a Mystic Confluence. And I like a Zealous Conscriptos. See, I'm the opposite. Uh, I had back surgery like 10 years ago. Thank you. And if I'm standing in the same place and not walking or sitting, um, that's when my back starts to hurt. So we're like a bunch of a bunch of bad back dudes. One star peeps, five star games. Thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Welcome back. 10 months in a row. Really appreciate it. Michael got his card. I'm going to hold it up for you guys so you can see the numbers. So you can write them down um, real quick. I'd rather you didn't. And what are we picking here, man? I'll just take Flutter Strand. Really? Yeah. Over Mystic Conlots? I actually didn't notice that. Oh, Maybe take that. Yeah, I'm gonna take that first pick. Boop. Put it in the booper. Oh, Plow Under. Ooh, Terasty. Oh, I kind of like Plow Under here. I want to just ramp towards it. This elf will come back because no one likes green ever. Was there a Basalt Monolith? I didn't see it. Water Sports Drew. Thank you so much for the reset. I don't know if I said it. I sincerely mean it when I say this. I love you too, buddy. I love you too. 2164. I want to take Plow Under here. Ooh, Sylvan Library. That's a good one. Did you just... What did you just do? What were those words you were saying? Oh, Sakura Tri... Oh, Gristlebrand and a Reanimate in the same pack. And a Volcanic Island? And a marsh flats? Good lord, man. I don't know what to take here. I think it might be Tribe Elder. Um, yeah, it seems good. Is it better than Gristlebrand? Nothing's you better than Gristle Bisley. Buddy, I don't know. There's what a reanimate in this pack. I know. Wheel. Uh well there's twelve cards. Four cards are coming back. Reanimate might wheel. My biggest problem is how do we get them in the graveyard? I don't know. Yeah, there's man. not a lot of ways in this format, it seems like. I'm gonna take Tribelder, which seems like the weakest of the options, but whatever. Now I'm gonna take Garrick, because we can go turn two Tribelder into turn I'm just gonna I'm I'm flying by the seat of my green pants here, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen with this draft. We'll probably lose spectacularly, but I'm really trying to cut off all the green cards. And this breeding pool is super nice if we want to play this Mystic Confluence. And we got a Rattleclaw Mystic, which also Let's us play this. Kitchen Finks deal. Buried alive. That puts creatures in the graveyard. How you doing over here? You doing okay? Pretty good. What are you ordering? Ordering one Jets pizza. One whole Jets pizza? My god. Storm 
store not currently open? Are you kidding me? It's 9.06. They probably close at 9. No, they close at 10. Well, I've you even checked on the internet. Why don't you call them and see if they're open, you little Mitch? Mike, my serious question, what is your favorite Kids Bop album? <laughs> uh, seven. The lighting on your forehead and your friend's face is really, really bright. I know. I explained this at the very beginning of the draft. We are doing a standing draft, which means we are much closer to the light now. Yeah, it's an unfortunate side effect. Frank looks like a little baby man. That's just how I look. I want to take windswept teeth now. Nice. Nice. Oh, Lenawar Elves? Knew it would come back. Hi, I wanted to place a delivery order. I'd like to place a delivery order. Let me know when you have to use your card. I'll mute it. Yes, please. I'll just take this. House. Dr. House. Uh, 2164. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Every time you do that, you're just like, I'm just going to start reading off sensitive information on stream. I didn't think the address didn't register as sensitive for some reason, but it is. Especially for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, everyone knows 2164 at least. I'm glad I caught you. <laughs> oh, it's probably Rex Sage, but it could be a lantern. Actually, it might be a lantern. I'll just take the lantern. Oh, there it is. Prime boy. There's the reward. Defendrix, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Looks like we're mono green. Oh, well, we got a blue card, and we have a breeding pool, and we get a savanna here. We could also take a compulsive research. I do like a if compulsive do research. Blue -green. We could take Xenagos. I don't really like Xenagos that much, though, honestly. I think I like compulsive better than savanna here. Yeah, same. Thran Dynamo. I do like a Thran Dynamo. Yeah, seems good. Come on, boys. We ramping. Oh, Tyga's nice. We can get it with our windswept teeth. And it does let us play Ancient Grudge or Domri. Okay. Okay. And it's a forest, so it doesn't affect our the Rafellos that will most assuredly get past. I'm going to take this Emrakul. We can just cast Emrakul this. Kadama's reach? Yeah, well, there's like, we'll just get the Cultivate, or this will just come back. This will be the last card in the pack. Watch. More like compulsive pizza church, am I right? Or am I right? Or am I right? I think you might be right. You don't look like a Thran Dynamo, maybe a Tan Dynamo. Oh, maybe. Except for my forehead, right? <sighs> uh, I like Nissa. I also like Dragon Lord of Tarko. What do you think? It's close. I think Dragon Lord Tark is just super strong. Sure. I'm going to take it. You know what you can't do? Stop me. What if I took the mouse and click something else? I like how they put Walking Bliss to after a Tarka but before Emrakul. That's yeah, interesting. I guess because the X's come before any numbers. 
I'm gonna say Greaves, actually. I don't even hate Greaves there. Oh, Rexage comes back like you do. That's nice. That is nice. But they're basically saying, like, you know what? This is probably gonna be whatever this is, it's probably gonna be more than seven, but less than thirteen. Should I make mango habanero quesadillas or lemon feta chicken? Go with the mango habanero quesadillas for yeah, sure. That sounds delicious. Yeah, don't even that ain't even a question, my dude. Take it. That's gas. That's gas. If you have enough ramper, that should be pretty good. Even Domri is a ramperino. Oh, well, Zenigos did come back. We got a Savannah, but we have no white cards. Nor do we have any real reason. Yeah, we might play the Xenagos, though. Yeah, we'll take a Xenagos. I've played a Xenagos to a decent effect. Oh, Sacred Foundry. We can actually get a Sacred Foundry with a Windswept Teeth, and then it is a green and a red source. Not terrible. Cultivate, last pick. Kodama's Reach, rather. A Blooming mar Marsh. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know what that was. Hey man, that's inappropriate. Don't be touching that. What do you think? Uh, I really like Nissa here. Over Karn? Yeah, we have a lot of high end already. We got three high end. Playing Tanky Stinking Karn. See I if think I can. Karn's better. This is also probably going to come back, I'm going to be honest with you. My lips get super chapped and fall off. Your actual lips fall off? <laughs> that mask is hands down the worst of the collection. Wow. Don't let Kerwood hear you say that. I like Hornet Queen here. We have so many big things. Yeah, but that's like one of the best big what things. What about Force of Will? We do not have a lot of blue cards, my dude. Yeah, you're right, my dude. This is a good thing, though. All right. Oh, Hinterland Harbor and a Finhorn Elves? I take the Elf. I bet the Hinterland Harbor comes back anyway. Oh, Control Magic too. Yeah, Control Magic is pretty good, but I just think we need ramp. I think we do need Elves, especially with uh, Upheaval. Tropical Island! That's pretty good, yeah. That's real good. Yeah, we're definitely taking that Trop Boy. Come on, Trop Boy, my man. I came into the whole tiny hands thing in media's res. What does that mean? Let me get a large cheese pizza with pepperoni on it. And I wanted to come to my house at Mockingbird Lane. Uh, there's no pepperoni on it. Thank you. Did you just get cheese? Yeah, just cheese. I'm going to get this far seat. How do you feel about that? It doesn't get forest, which is awkward. Well, it gets it gets oh, taiga it or yeah, it gets yeah, trop. Yeah, you're or right. My bad, my bad. I forgot about that. That is your bad. <laughs> Typical. Typical Mike's bad guys. Probably just revoker here. Yeah, it's we could take work. we could take a Genesis wave and just Genesis wave for a million. I don't know. It's so. I want to live that so dream. So man more. intensive. We got Thran Dynamo. Uh huh. Do you have cheese pizza? Asking for a front. Yeah, I wonder if you guys have cheese pizza. My friend, he just wants cheese pizza, so I was wondering if you had that. Sweating a little bit, man. Heat rises. Heat rises. Oh, Lumbering Falls? Yeah, I'll take that over Incubation Druid for sure. Yeah, we can skip on the Karn, too. Oh, I don't care about that Karn. I didn't even see that Karn. Fire Ice is alright. Not that we're going to play it, but sure. Throne is a nice sideboard boy. Yeah. A side boy. Yeah, Awakening Zone is whatever. This is a 16 land deck now. Mm, maybe. Carney T. That's alright. Slow Rhythm. We don't have that many creatures though, I guess. Yeah, especially non-token creatures. This is me dancing to the rhythm of the night. No dancing, it's banned. Didn't you know? What'd you say to me? Dancing is banned. From life? Mm-hmm. Ooh, big oogs. That's actually pretty sick. 
And by oogs, I mean ols. I know what you meant. And I accepted it. I think the lump, I think the Hinterland Harbor didn't come back. Nope, didn't. That's weird. Oh, Aether Sphere Harvester. I can harvest your Aether Spheres if you give them to me. <laughs> right, my dude? Do we really want upheaval? What? Why wouldn't we? This is like the upheaval deck, my dude. Thran Dynamo, Chromatic Lantern, a bunch of ramp. All right. Baby sharks, do 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 do. What about Domri? I think we can cut Domri. We can probably cut Kitchen Finks too. And then we can just do Drop Taiga, Foundry, Lumbering Falls, Breeding Pool. <clears throat> Maybe one of each basic. We don't have Rafello, so I think it's actually fine. Red, this would be one, two, three, four. I guess that we. I don't, I don't know if we need the Sacred Foundry if we have Windswept Teeth, or if we have Taiga, because we can already get a red source with it. Yeah, but it just gives us another, another shot at it, though, in case we have a Taiga out. I guess it's yeah, but we don't need double red for anything, is the thing. Yeah, but we want to at least hit red, because we have two red cards, right? Right, but if we have Taiga out. This is always going to get a red source if we don't have Taiga. If we have Taiga, we don't need it to get a red source. I know you're just going to agree with me. You're just going to. You're just going to. Well, sometimes you want to get something else with Winds of Heat, though. So you can get it. What do you mean? I just feel like it gives us another red in case we need it. When do you? When are you going to need it, though? I just think it's better than playing a basic mountain. That's all. But you can't. You can search for a basic mountain with a Scourge Tribe Elder. Yeah. So we have no way to get a red if we play the Sacred Foundry over the Taiga. No, no, I meant play both. Why are we playing this though? I'm not. I'm trying to understand though. Because if we have a Taiga, okay, you're right. If no, we no, have no. a Taiga, yeah. we don't need this. Yeah. Okay. All right. In the situation we like, I guess we never need double red. If we don't have Taiga, we just get it with the get the Taiga. Both the exile with Ashiok. I guess they got... I mean, then we still have Rattleclaw Mystic. We still have the Mountain. We still have Fertile Ground. We still have Red. All right. Um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's a lot of green. 1, 2, 3. Three red sources for, like, two red cards, one of which is a 7-drop. Yeah, I think that's fine. Plus, we also have, like, Rattleclaw, Fertile Ground, Farseek, Sakura Tribal there. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, blue... Seven with Rattle Claw, eight with Fertile Ground, nine with Far Seek, ten you with definitely Tribal. cut a forest for an island here. I just don't feel like we ever want yeah, all right, I guess. We that's do fine. want double blue, like We do want double blue. Oh yeah, we also have Lantern, we also have Primal Titan, like we, yeah, we have a lot of red sources. I really want a Genesis Wave in this deck because we have so many Rampies. Uh, keep. Look, we got the Taiga. It's your favorite. Yours and mine. See you later, guys. And that's when we went down to the desk. Wow, this is weird. Standing up is strange. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of weight on there. Don't worry, I can't hold this position too much longer. How you doing, man? I'm doing. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, boom. My name is Michael B, and I have a bad leg. Bad leg? Bad leg. Big fan, we're dead, exactly. Black hole memes will never stop. Oh, That's, how rude. That is rude. I want to play this because I want to maximize my chances of uh, casting an unturned fizzle. You said big fan, never happening. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, let's see. I guess we're... Well, if they're playing mono red, we're just never getting another. I'm never going to draw an extra card with this. Put on top. 
Put on top. Put on top. The monkey's a two one. The monkey's a two one, yeah. Okay, so we're taking three. Well, you block the one, the one three. That's not how menace works, my dude. Oh, it has menace. Oh, it has menace. You're immune to Ragavan. That's an effect of the avatar. That'd be gas. <clears throat> Pro Ragavan. Unfortunately, it's broken right now. So. Oh, fascinate. Can we cast that? Spend two on this, we get three, right? One, two, so this is three, four, five, six. We have six mana, not seven. Oh my god, we're so close. Hmm. You wanna... We can keep up Mystic Confluence. Yeah. This only nets you one mana when you flip it. Right. So this is three... Four, and then you tap it for one that's five, and the land on your turn is six. We can flip it and Mystic Confluence, which is nice. Yeah, but next turn, if that lives, like, we probably just win the game off of Tarka. Oh, a Tarka does seem nice. I guess we could take three, four, five, six this turn. And they're also not mono red, which is less scary. However, if they try to kill this guy, we're definitely, uh,. Flipping and a ripping, as the kids say. That is what the kids say. I don't know why he's being so loud right now. Didn't you just feed him? Yeah, he just ate. Bad little man. Bring in. Oh, what are they convoking? Um, we can go counter bounce bounce. <laughs> That's pretty good. Because this makes our attack a lot worse, actually. True. I kind of like that, dude. It takes a lot of pressure off us. I'm bringing home my baby, Michael B. Or we can just draw some cards. I'm going to bounce the Thalia, I guess. Draw right. one card? Well, we actually have Sylvan Library. Maybe we just bounce both. They can't play both in one turn. So I, I like bouncing both. All right, so we'll down here, counter target spell, return to creature. Cast, counter you, bounce, bounce. <coughs> Spies us a lot of time, too. What's the sound little man makes? Mow. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see a Hornet Queen and a f Upheaval and an Emrakul, Jesus. Oh, boy. Put on top and uh, put on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope we didn't wreck ourselves here by this, but I think we'll be fine. So we got Hornet Queen and Emrakul on top. We really want to see a land here. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can tap all six, play a land, play it. If we draw, eh. Well, they crack Bloodstain Wire. That's fine. And they're going to rag Ragavan after that. Well, her name is Carrie Zev, not Ragavan. Really want to land here. I guess that's kind of like a land. Um, yeah, I don't care about either of these right now. Dragon Lord Tark is going to save the day. Uh, let's go Lumbering Falls and Breeding Pool. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We can float two mana, play a land. Hmm. I'm drinking whiskey to drown your cube sorrows. You know, by proxy, I appreciate it. I will, uh, I accept your, your offering of, of, uh, vicarious whiskey drinking. I got a, I got a pattern of rebirth for my cube, and I'm not sure why it's not in there over natural order. It just seems like a better card. It's four mana. It's enchanted creature. When enchanted creature dies, so you have to have a creature for both natural order. I'm just gonna block here. And for, um, for, for Pattern of Rebirth, right? When Enchanted Creature dies, and it doesn't have to be a green creature either, that creature's control may search your library for a creature card, put that on the battlefield, and then shuffle their library. So you can also get any creature with this. You don't have to sack a green creature, and you can get a non-green creature with it, both of which seem very important. 
The so, downside is like there's situations where you're just like, okay, I'll just take your stupid little guy and never, never block it. Like you have to put on something threatening. Right, or you have to have a way to sacrifice it. But <clears throat> so what happened here? They did not spectacle it. Obviously, they just discarded Athalia. Dragon Lord Atarka seems good here. So we can go one, two, three, four for Xenagos. Add two, and then we have three, four, five, six. Much rather just slam the Atarka here. I mean, we're definitely one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually play f Fertile Ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. One, two, three, four. What are we killing? Probably these two, right? Yeah. Do we get in there? I think so, yeah. We're 16. This is where they active treason us and we die. We have an 80 to block. That's what they active treason. Oh. They sell us conscripts this and kill us. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so that'll be 17 exactly. Oh, we just win the game. Yeah, they can do really response. My, my point is that, like, it feels like a more fair card, and when it works, a more versatile card. I just built myself an Aaron Kane. Oh, that's awesome. Strict's for kids. Glad to hear it, man. Aaron Kane does awesome work. Uh, I think Kitchen Finks can come in. Maybe Aether Spear Harvester. Take out the Xenagos. Yeah, that guy's stuff is legit. Take out. Does Rex Sage, did that hit anything we saw? I don't think so. No. No, they're not going to have anything for that. How dare you? How's your standing doing? It's all right. Sweating a little bit. I don't know why, but. Because there's a hot light in front of you and you're standing up? Maybe. And it's taking a lot of work to do so because your leg is hurting? That would be my guess. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. <laughs> oh, yee wee. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have any bad memories of me, Beth. going on with my internet right now I'm bringing home a baby Michael B won't his mommy be so proud of me <laughs> oh. shut Br up and take my money oh uh, Mormon Day one fertile ground buckaroo thank you so much buddy really appreciate it Aaron Kane called me yesterday he's doing cue boxes on Saturday finally oh he called you oh emailed me okay I was like well I called you that's crazy. Do we Farseek here? I think we want to Farseek. Because next time we can Fertile Ground on a land and then still play. You know, the thing. The thing. You know. No idea. You know what I'm saying. Don't even be like this, Michael. Won't Michael's mommy be so proud of me? Oh, there's a Firefox update. It's all making sense now. Oh, look at that recruiter of the guild. This is recruiter of the guild. What are they going to get? Well, oh yeah. I really should just pop the guest on for domestic. Okay. It should just automatically pop up. You should automatically pop up. You do what? I don't know, man. I'm not your dad. I didn't go get any cigarettes. Oh, did New Hellboy get 11% in IMAX in, uh, in Rotten Tomatoes? That's cringy. Oof. That's pretty bad. Do we play Rattlecloud? We gotta play Sylvan Library here, right? Because next time we can play Primeval Titan. 11% means, like, walk out territory. Jeez, that's sad. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Hellboy franchise. Oh, I, I, I accidentally searched for Hallboy. Whoops. Whoops! Oh, 11% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yikes. That is what's known as less than ideal, my friends. The trailers didn't look that bad.
Is it Guillermo del Toro? There's no way it's still Guillermo del Toro. No, I don't think so. Yeah, Neil Marshall. Man. Give us back Guillermo del Toro. Oh, Batter Skull, huh? A classic. Oh, that's a big that's a big beefy boy. Let's shuffle it away. God, can you imagine if they have manatide here? I would cry, but I'm not gonna cry because they didn't have it. They're gonna path this guy? Swords him? Path him? Swords him? Something like that. No, I won't pay two life. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Sylvan Library and, and Primeval Titan is one of the best interactions ever because, like, you're like, oh, I'll just put this crap back and then I'll shuffle my library. Yeah, it's pretty good. Who oh, I just... see. I guess we're going to vote for this guy. One, two, three, four, six. That's okay. I'm going to take six here. The damage is already done. Let's see what we get here. Nope, don't like that. Like that. <laughs> Seems good. Okay, so hold on. How much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can float two and then play a land so we can go. We can play Lantern? Yeah, we're going to. I don't want to go to five here. I think we just play Fertile Ground. Yeah, that's actually fine if we don't keep it. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. And we can play, like, Tribal there in a land? Uh, we can actually go land, fertile ground. Tribal there would be good. Could also just play Sylvan Library here. Or Metal Red Oak Wall, if you prefer. I'm like, we don't, we're already just, uh, maybe Library is good? I don't know. Yeah, Library's fine, because they only get to play one thing next turn. And we get to discard, we have to discard two lands, which is not a big deal. Because next turn we can go Compulsive Orb Rattleclawed face down, and we still get to look at like three cards. Yo, it's your girl Grandmama! <laughs> Grandma, what's going on? Good seeing you. So what do they have? Inspiring, which they played, and then they had Plains Mountain, I believe. And Stone, and Anafenza, and then Recruiter. Yep, so. We know four of the cards in their hand, if they don't discard any of those. Man, they also have a batter skull too, right? Yeah. Which is here. And Offenza, Glorybringer, Recruiter, and Bloodbraid Elf hit the bin. And Venerated Loxodonny. Loxodonny! Man, I want that. Oh, Lantern seems good. I don't think we care about it, though. No, I'd rather play face down radical. Yeah, same. Uh, put on top. I'll just keep uh, the <clears throat> Walking Ballista. Passaruski. What superhero movie would you recommend to someone with no previous interest or attachment to superheroes? <clears throat> no interest or attachment to superheroes? The first Iron Man was is great. And, you, like, literally, so you could have no interest in superheroes. You could watch the first Iron Man, and then you can just grow a, 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 an attachment to superheroes. So we can flip this guy... This is three, four, five. We can go. I also think you could probably watch The Dark Knight and be entertained, even though you don't know anything about Batman. Are you not entertained? So what we can do, if we can go land, play Tri-Builder. Crack this so we can shuffle away those two forests. Get another island. Tap this for compulsive and we can discard a land which will be a breeding pool and then we can tap this guy for an elf that seemed like a good turn one two three four five six seven mana we can play both of these next turn <clears throat> i enjoyed the third iron man a lot i think the third iron man is, is really good because it's all about tony stark it's not about iron man Put on top. Bam, 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 bam. You know that, that Red Hot Chili Pepper song? No, man. I only referenced it for no reason. You did? Uh-huh. You referenced it? Mm-hmm. 
right now? Well, earlier. So we can we can play this. Then we can play this. We can go one, two, three, four, the group, yeah. play this. And then we can shoot this. Now you're going to put a batter skull into play, which is fine. I accept. How big is our walking ballista next turn? Huge. Is it huge? I hope they don't kill us. I guess they have three mana. If they had five mana, I'd be scareder. Scareder. More scared. Well, they have five on board, so they need four more damage. You need four more damage. Actually, let me make us smaller for this particular draft so that you guys can see the cards better. That's better. Oh, they just went face? We get to keep our Garrick? Oh, they're probably just going to kill us with like lightning bolt something else. Oof. Still doesn't do it. Yeah, but it's close, isn't it? Oh, they just killed it with that. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, let's cast that. I feel like we're able to, right? I didn't even count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're definitely able to count, count this. cast this gentleman. We got four left. One, two, three, four. Let's kill this and this land. Play an elf. Kill a Johnny. Tag a Johnny. I've got an Ulamog and you don't have anything. Can I get some more water? All right, I'll see you later. Oh, butter my biscuits. Man, Sylvan Library's working overtime here. Okay, that actually, that makes me feel a little more comfortable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen mana. So we can play this and make a five-five walking ballista. I like that. So this is three. Oh, wait, only four? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, I guess we have to use all of it. I thought we had more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, thirteen, so it was ten exactly with a uh, walking ballista. All right, well. Hey, Sabalba! Little Annie! All right. Man, we keep shuffling these two forests. Okay, now we can put this back, put you back, crack you, and get a non get to get a fresh look. If you want to trade Rattleclaw for Rick's Mud Eye Reveler, I'm okay with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have thirteen mana, so we can add three counters to the walking ballista. Which is pretty good because it makes it a five-five and able to Yep, that is fine. Whenever a creature you control leaves a battlefield, it deals one damage. That's that could be rough, but they're probably gonna name cons here. <laughs>
fresh looks. Put on top and put on top. One, two, three, four. Michael's back. Mucho, mucho libre. I'm going to exile the Banishing Light so I can get my little Mog back so we can just win the game next turn. Incinerate? Oh, God! Well, he still needs another one to go with it. <sighs> That's terrifying. Oh, God, here we go. Oh... <sighs> That's not it. That puts us to one. Oh. Oh my. Oh, I got the vapors. Shut up and take my money. Oh, we could always kill our own kitchen finks. That's true. Mormer, one big ballista buckaroo. Appreciate it, buddy. I will put a counter on this because I can. Oh, I'm Michael. I got a little more water for my little taste buds. Yeah, got water from taste buds. Oh, water for me taste buds, laddie. Bet there's a dragon lord Tarka here. God, I'm like a wizard, Michael. I'm like a wizard. A blizzard wizard, Michael. Who's... A blizzard wizard. <laughs> you heard me. Your whole deck is gone. Oh, they had lightning helix in there. We got him. We got him. Good job. I'm gonna play again. When's your pizza gonna get here? You said you said 45, 50 minutes, so it's gonna be a while. Is it gonna? Uh, they're gonna eat it on stream? No. All right, you're just bringing it in here. Have some, have some slices. It's kind of weird. There's what? people that get mad when you eat on stream. No one cares. I'll keep this hand for yeah. sure. I'll let it cool down a bit. I'll let you cool down a little bit. Remember the time I almost saw a whole address on stream? Yeah, that was good. I bet if I didn't stop you, would have just kept going and put your credit card address on there too. <laughs> Your credit card address, that's what it's called. What were you checking? Were you checking your order status? Just checking my phone. Without a third land, I'm just going to carefully place the curve Shrine Builder here. Fortunately, since I ordered it over the phone, I don't have an order tracker. Oh, if we hit a land, we can go Thran Dynamo into Lantern? Jeez Louise. This dude's name is Mono Red What, but they're playing white. Land. I actually want to keep up Chromatic Lantern here because um, if we play Dynamo, we can just play play Lantern. If we play Farseek, we can't. If we if we keep up Farseek instead, then we can only play. We can't play it off Dynamo. So we really want to hit lands and library will probably help us out with that a lot. Oh look at I got my own little my own little artifact land. Oh, that's nice. Oh, put you on top. I'll put you on top, then I'll put you on top of that. And we're going to go Dynamo into Chromato. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana next turn. Woo! Was that a, was it we just, was that a simul move? It, it might have been a simul move. Woo! That was actually just me about to pass out. Are you, you okay? No, I'm fine. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were really going to pass out or not. No. This is a little strenuous, but I'll be all right. Your mother's a little strenuous, Michael. Wow. Gotta. Did you see me get your mother? No, I didn't see it. Uh, you'll see it one day, Michael. Oh, it's actually like, oh man, if we can only get triple green for this Hornet Queen, but then I'm like, oh wait, we have a Chromatic Lantern. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're just going to keep the... Um, 
we're going to keep the, the fertile in ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we, oh yeah, it's seven, right? Okay, good. I was like, did we mess up? The answer is no. We did not mess up. We played bees. But, but, but bees! So they have one, two, three, four, five, six. They can only have seven mana, so they can only shoot down two bees. Two bees! Is that how it does? It just does two damage to two targets? I'm not people, so I don't care, but I'm hungry, so I better eat first so I don't get jealous. Yeah, if I had to catch Mike, I'd probably be dead. Oh, you're just going to kill the main one. That's cool. You know the cool thing about bees? Everything. Everything is the cool thing. I guess thing. they can slowly shoot them off. I kind of just want to put two lands on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a million mana, dude. Put you back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're so close. This doesn't do anything here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we just want to. They have four mana now, which means they can kill two more bees and then kill two more bees, which sucks. Two bees. Yeah, we'll just put you on top for now. I don't think you're really super important here. I would just far seek that away. Oh, I'm going to far seek everything away. I'm going to far seek your mother away. Oh. Okay. Got him. What are we getting here? Trop. Tropicale. Polo Tropical. Oh, 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 hold on. I think you just targeted your own two lands. Oh, we're targeting the lands first. Wow. Good call. Good call. Uh, one, two. That would have been real bad. Oh, my God. I would have cried. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What would you like to target? They're going to kill two bees. And then kill, I killed two bees in the evening. And then they're going to kill two more bees. God. What a hard bee life. Hard life. It's a hard bee life for me. What cards do you think you should have drawn with the library? Oh. Shut up and take my money. What? Send me a hornet. Send me a hornet. Oh, right now. We're gonna have six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can Emrakul next turn. We should have attacked with bees because he was gonna shoot them anyway. But he might not. What if they play something else instead because it's a better use of their mana? Oh, they didn't. They're just gonna kill our bees. Well, we get three new looks. Let's draw Dragonlord of Tarka. That ain't it. Not none of those are it. Well, at least you drew a fetch land. Can we play Emrakul? Yeah, for sure. Especially if we crack this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we actually have to crack this. No, we don't. Well, we want to either way, just get rid of this for us. Yeah, we definitely do. You're right. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, pay four more. One, two, three, four. Bum, 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 All right, we got Emrakul. Emrakul has been called. Every time we play the... <laughs> All right, cool. They're like, nah, I'm good. Every time we play the green deck, we always do well. I don't know how it works. Uh, it's super proactive, I think. Super, super proactive. Uh, Kitchen Finks could come in. I like him over Xenagos. I'm doing the Flamingo. You got one leg in the air? Mm -hmm. that's, a fl that's Florida style. I guess this is fine like this. Oh, we have Carnero deck. That's how we're doing well. Uh, it definitely contributes to it. You got this fan on you, man? I got self fan. Self fan. You want to put this mask on? No. <laughs> I don't want to get my sweat all over it. <laughs> 
That's not going to work. Joke's on you. It did work. Did it? <sighs> I don't know, man. I just work here. This hand's not great, but I'll keep it. Any, like, two drop is real good here. Oh, that's a good one, too. Unfortunately, we won't be able to composite unless we draw blue. I think I kill this. Man, ain't nobody got time. Do I just block here? I'm pretty sure we block here. We're not going to do anything on turn two anyway, so... Actually, if they don't do anything here, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, they're going to do something. Wow, that card is annoying. You're right. I mean, we just get to kill it next turn, so that's fine. We take three, we play Garrick, we shoot it. Eh, it's all good. I can't see Mike's beautiful face. He'll be all right. You can sort of see it. It's just very mm. weighted out. It's very weighted out. Weighted out, he says. I have said weighted out. That's a fine removal spell. <laughs> I accept it. Ugh. My husband is also an old white white man. Me too. I'm also an... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good You're card. Right. That's a scary one. That's not going to do what we want it to do. Let's go land. Get our forest. Play taiga. Presume we're probably dead here. Get an island. We can upheaval. It's a defensive upheaval, though. It's never great. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> here we go. Hellrider. Oh, no, that's fine. Hellrider would have been good. Not for us, per, per se, but, you know, in general. Also, if we just draw... Um, if we just draw a natural land here, we get to just kill this with the Dragonlord Tarka. We also bounce it with Confluence. Close. I think we can probably keep up Confluence and then counter what they do. I don't like upheavaling here. Oh, I didn't attack. I should have attacked. That was really bad. Send me a Michael B. Oh, right now. Cast, return a dude. Sure. <laughs> oh, it must be nice. Uh, I kind of like Ancient Grudge just because they have chromatic uh, coalition relic every game. Oh, and they also have Ancient. They also have the other little shit bird, too. Yeah. It's like a walking ballista. Really? Yeah, it doesn't seem great. Shoot you, so. They fall like a million mana. I'd rather have that than, like, Ulamog here. Why didn't you cast Karn? He only cost three? What does that mean? I don't think that's true. It is hotter up here. I think it's because you're closer to the light. Uh, next turn we can play like oh Hornet Queen would actually not be great against Helka, yeah. I'll keep it. Also this just not used to standing up this much. Same. I haven't worked retail in a while. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, it's like I don't know what this is like. Hmm. Let's play try. Come on, pizza. Get your life together. Oh, Tron Joke. I get it. I get it. You only need to tap three lands. I ordered at 9.06, so it's been 50, almost 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Oh, no two drop is nice. Oh, we're so close. It's okay. We're going to do it next turn. Let's get Breeding Pool. Next turn, Dynamo into Lantern. We just have to survive two turns, and then we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, and then we can start firing off our beefy boys. Funny Tron joke. 
That's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, they played Chalice for zero! Oops. Oh man, the classic... <laughs> the classic multi-kicker. Wow, that's insane. I should not have gotten so excited about that, but that's hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana now. So if we draw if we draw a land, we just cast Ulamog. If we don't, we just Dragon Lord of Tarka them. We can deal five to this guy and they take five. Yikes. Alright, well. That's rude as hell, but. Why did you use Ancient Tomb instead of the Interesting. So you took two, you're taking three? One, two, three, four, five. Land. Come on, basic land. Well, that's like a land. That's fine. That'll do. Let's get Lumbering Falls and a Tropical. Let's get all the beautiful lands. If you're actually starting to try an icy hot patch, I use for my husband. Sorry, I hijacked this chat to diss himself. But anyway, that seems to work for him for lower back pain. It smells like a Listerine strip. Yeah, that's... Icy Hot definitely smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. I have a heating pad that helped quite a bit. I'm just going to block here, because even if you want to, like, three for one this guy, it's totally fine. Like, if you want to, like, lava coil this afterwards, it's whatever. He did his work. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Then you take five, you go to eight, and then this guy's lethal. And then we're going to play this, because now if we hit a land, we get to play Tarka. I if I should call Pizza Place while they're still open. Because it's been a while. I think we just won the game. Oh, we did. We did. I'm going to call these guys real quick. Is that 2-0? Are we 2-0, guys? Oh, 2-0. Our deck is sweet. Look, I can move all the way over here and fix things. Look at that. Look at this range of motion I have now that I'm, like, standing up. Oh, I'm going to keep this hand. It's expensive, but we have a lot of ramp and fixing, and if we get to Reclamation Sage something, it's pretty sweet. That's an impressive ROM you have there. I agree. I didn't mean to brag about it, but, you know, it's kind of a big deal. Oh. What'd they say? He said he's out and about. He's out, he's out and about. He's doing his thing. It's okay, we're 2-0, man. We're doing it. You won that game? Yeah. Nice. The Dragon Lord of Tarka. Uh, Sealed the deal? Yeah, it kind of... It was pretty good. Man, mono green... Well, base green ramp deck with no no play by turn three. If we can draw a Thren Dynamo here, that'd be sick, right? Play like a Coalition Relic or something. Yep, that's not what I wanted to see. That's a bit of a prob. Wow, an Ulamog and a Dragon Lord. All right, wow. well... I didn't want to draw those, so I guess that's good, but... There goes our top end. <laughs> well, we got Horn Queen and Karn in hand. Is that usually like plus two or plus one? Oh, it's plus two. I figured it out. Okay. Is it plus two or plus one? I figured it out. My name is Boochel. Whatever, Moochel. How dare you. Oh, you're going to duress me? That's See cool. Later, oh, boy. You know what else is a big deal? The discount you can get with undergarments. Find me undies. That's meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. Yeah, check that out. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they are super comfortable, guys. You have no idea. Oh, my God. These lands. This is this is what happens. Hey, we're 2-0. Going to game three. 
Well, oh, I think Peace is here. All right, go get it. You can close Hunter in here so he doesn't. Hunter, come here. Hunt. Hunt, come here. Hunt, come here. He's a good boy. He just gets excited. Come here, bud. Come here. Hey, come here. Hey, come over here. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? He comes over here for like one second and then he goes back to the door because he's real excited. Hans, come here. Hunter. Come here. What are you doing? Oh my god, alright, take it easy. He's excited. Oh, there's nothing left in there. I went for the wrong drink. Now it's down the wrong pipe. We're basically dead. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, get your loot on. Ooh. He's on the floor. I can't. The, the desk is raised. There's no way to really do it. Oh boy. <clears throat> basically dying. <clears throat> oh boy oh boy did you get your pizza where's your pizza go get some pizza bring it on in mm. no mm. why Is it, we're almost done why are you like this When my coworker made the suggestion I was skeptical but standing desk is great even for an hour at the end of the day it makes a huge difference in how I feel really? that's interesting we have four cards in hand what if they all suck? <clears throat> it's a possibility nah it's unlikely look they had a swords it doesn't suck Well, they got rid of Ulamog, Dragonlord, Tarka, and Arkarn, so... I guess we can hit an Emrakul, but we're not going to be able to cast it. We can also draw a base. <laughs> 39. 10. So if we put this on here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we have enough. <clears throat> Play land. Ocean man. Take me by the land and zoop a doo and do. I think he totally has a counter spell, unfortunately. Well, they also just have. They can just get uh, Dragon Lord Tarka next turn with their Ashiok. So that's cool. That would still leave a B, though. That would leave one B. That's true. One Mike B. That's <clears throat> where they daze us. Daze us! Now you're gonna loot first? Okay. Digging for it? You're not Sean McLaren? Resolve. That's hmm. true. That is a true statement. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana, 2 card types in the graveyard. That's not enough. That's not gonna do it. all in it works right what if we draw land we're good what what we'll just draw windswept teeth oh no they cracked their land they're 19 they're basically dead they can't win now god that shock is such a beating if you just don't have a way to deal with it <clears throat> Michael B, take me by the bees. 
Take me by the bees. You're gonna hurt your knees. Oh, they took the windswept teeth. And they took uh, Findhorn Elves. They're basically in a CR whole deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So close. So close. That's not what we're looking for. <clears throat> so no way to cast this. Cost 10, right? 11. Bada ba 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 da ba da. This is really cryptic command tap my team. Nope. <clears throat> well, they gotta have something. What up with that bright light? Well, it's the bright light that's behind the screen. And, uh, we're using a standing desk, so it's much closer to us now. I think we're just going to... I don't want to concede, but... No, we're pretty dead. Well, if we get Emrakul, we can just kill the... Well, it's, if we if we resolve this Emrakul, we're actually okay. One, two, three, four. Like, we go to six cards and we go to five cards. If we hit a land, we're actually all right. Maybe. Because we can run this dude, we can draw and make them discard the best card. We can do all kinds of stuff. We just have to resolve it. <clears throat> Actually, we don't, because it's a cast trigger, right? Yeah. We hit two lands and a Mystic Confluence. That's pretty stupid. Dislike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty, fourteen. Actually, all of our lands are in play. <laughs> there are no lands in our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, so we're actually just dead? Um, unless we can get a card type into our graveyard with no cost. If we draw Walking Ballista, then we can actually Emrakul, which is pretty hilarious. Are they attacking? It's aggressive. Well, they only have two cards in hand. Are you ready? Oh, that could be actually insane. We just have to up people here, right? Yeah, seems good. Oh, you didn't? No, I would've kept that. We have five cards in our library. Like, I don't want to draw an extra card when we go to four cards. Then we have to win the game in four turns. Like, I don't even know how we're going to win like this. Like, Emrakul is like our win condition here. And... <clears throat> Blue. Take me by the hand, upheaval all your lands. <clears throat> yep, you got it. Upheaval. 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 I'm gonna upheaval. That Ashiok's going away, my dude. Oh, they got it. What is this you're doing? Sphinx's Row? Oh, you're just floating mana? <clears throat> Fascinating. So we can actually go Lumbering Falls, use two of it to put Fertile Ground on the Lumbering Falls. Hmm, and then play Sylvan one. Library. Yeah. Do we want a library, though? I mean, it doesn't draw us extra cards. It just lets us look at the cards we're drawing. Oh, sure. I think we're still dead. We just don't have enough things to throw out here. 
Yeah, I don't, have, I don't know how we do them 16. We'll figure it out. Oh, he stinks is revving here. <laughs> it's like Glonic Rift. Oh, Lord. No, I think we're definitely dead. I guess we should have played a pre-combat. Yeah, that's dumb. I don't think we have enough cards to actually come back. We can't win in four turns. <clears throat> Shiok. Uh, Thren seems good. So does Carnage Tyrant. Walking Ballista seems mm, meh. Rexage didn't see any targets for it. Yep. Seems alright. Yeah, that seems fine. Thrun and Carney T seem good. Do you up people talk in standard? Yes, I do. I played back then and started off with Washout as a budget version of appeal because I didn't have a proper job yet. Do you think Washout is nicer or meaner than upheaval and cubes? What does Washout do? Yeah, it returns all lands. <clears throat> Uh, return all permanents of the color of your choice to their owner's hands. Um, I don't know. It's definitely different. Your deck looks sick. Not sicker than an Ashiok. Also, if you guys want to rent, if you want a service that will allow you to rent physical paper magic cards for like local events or for GPs and stuff, or even digital magic online cards, so you can test for those events, definitely check out manatraders.com. With the link and promo code in my profile, you will get 20% off your first three months of a subscription, which is pretty sweet. So definitely be sure to check those guys out. They are who I use to borrow cards on magic online. <clears throat> Submit your deck. I want to end this match. Keep. And the snappest of keeps. They kept two. God, where's the justice? <clears throat> Do you have a play on turn one? Yeah, I didn't think so, nerd. Do I, want to, do I want to play around dazed? Probably. There's no real downside to doing it. Got him. He's dead. He's basically dead. Dr. Teeth? That was a great nickname for Psychotog. That should be my Twitch name. Why was it Doctor? He's a doctor. <clears throat> you got it. Here's something that kills that guy. Garrick, one time. Nice. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Ocean man, put Jace in the trash can. I'm a lucky man. Mm, yeah, whatever. That's my one time right there, guys. Dr. Teeth is also one of the Muppets. That's probably where they got it from. He's an animal. He's in the animal band. Oh, again, I see. Well, <clears throat> it's just decent pressure on the board. Not as good when you have a board. That is correct. Yeah, I'm just going to pay for life. Oh, I guess I'll add a green instead of a red. Attack old trashy boy. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn. We took eight damage to two extra cards because I don't want to keep seeing these lands. So... I think brewing your own list is definitely fine. 100%. 100% I will advocate that. But I also think it's kind of dumb to shit on people to, uh, who, who net deck because it's just kind of a silly thing to do. How you doing? 
pizza's getting cold. It'll be fine. Microwave's broken, so you can't even heat it up. How convenient. No, just get the microwave ain't broken. Hmm. Oh, they negative one to get a well, Findhorn Elf. That's interesting. Huh. Well. <clears throat> I think that's because they bricked on land. It does look like that. Okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just going to play Karn and get rid of Ashiok, right? Seems good. Let's <clears throat> kill this guy. Flippy boy. Oh, carny boy. <clears throat> oh, we can restart the game and get an Ashiok? That's pretty cool. Alternatively, we could kill, kill their elf. Kept them off four mana, but I think this is still fine. <sighs> I think as we're far going. as I know, Ashiok was their only threat, so... I think we're going to game three, my dudes. In the whole deck, you mean? Yeah. They had one Talrand as well, right? Or was that a different match? That was probably last... No, that was... The first two rounds were both red-white, so... Is this game two or three? This is match three, game, game two. Okay. We lost game one. Because we suck at magic together. Uh, just keep them on top. Let me steal one of them precious cards. Beautiful cards. We could also negative one here and search for something like a Carnage Tyrant. And that does let us shuffle the two lands away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we're going to attack with the wolf first, then we'll just sack the wolf. The good thing is nothing they bounce really affects us that much. Oh, they're just going to bounce the wolf itself. Sacrifice. Oh, no. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, but I wanted to get a... Why don't we just get a... I didn't want to have to sack the elf to do it. I wanted to tap the... Oh, that seems good. That's insane, yeah. Just make sure. Do one, do one, do one more on each... All right, so we got an eight, eight, two planeswalkers and a Sylvan library, and we got to shuffle those two lands away. So I think we're just gonna go to game three here. Oh, they just cycled cast out. Now we're gonna go to game three. There you go. Just want to get that extra peak. <clears throat> Still didn't see anything worthy of, of like Rex Saging. So, nope. I guess he bringing in Fire and Ice. They have Talrand. For what though? I don't know, man. I also like planeswalkers, but I'll just submit like this. I think our deck is good. As evidenced by our 2 0 right now. Come on, trophy one time. Can a brother get a trophy? Can a brother get a trophy? Frank looks like he always wears a hat outside. Yeah, I do. I always wear hats. I'm a big hat guy. Oh, this hand looks gas. Turn to Sylvan Library and Lumbering Falls. I will keep. Did they mulligan? Oh, they mulligan to six. Five, 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 five. That's so, that's so bad. They're thinking about it. Yeah, that's old uh, old Frankie Two Hats. 
Ooh, on the play with it on the play going to six you're basically dead they can't come back we're gonna play something Cataxium Pro just kidding that ain't in the cube that sucks yeah they probably just take our library yep that's huge that's not even that good because we don't have an untapped land for turn three Untap land one time. Come on. Not like this. They're going to have Jace or a Merfolk Looter. That's better than a Jace. That was good. Now we're talking. Because now we can play Thrun and play Lumbering Falls. Then we can untap into Confluence. Or if we hit a land, Carnage Tyrant. So that's pretty cool. If they don't have an Ashiok for the third game in a row. I mean, they have to have land Ashiok here. And it looks like they do. We still get to play Thrun, which is... Oh, that's fine. Yeah, so land we get to Carnage Tyrant, no land we get to Mystic Confluence. Seems good. I'm okay with it. They also have six minutes less than us. It's not going to matter, but that's a good amount of time less. They discard a, did they discard Vincer? Did they discard Vincer last turn? Forgot I had to click a card. <laughs> oh yeah, I did the same thing. Yeah. I don't know. It feels good. Monastery Mentor is a little bit scary, but we didn't see like we honestly didn't see that many spells in their deck. Just a I'm sure they have Oof. them, but. So they go Ashiok, make a guy, and they can just block forever. Oh, I see. Well, that's pretty good. It's not bad. Oh, boy. Never gets any easier. Yep. God, why is it always the, the, the winning game, the game we have to win? No matter what point in the, in the, in the thing it is, it's always a struggle. This guy should really do some work, though, hopefully. I mean, if we get to untap and, keep, and attack with this guy and keep up Mystic Confluence, like, if they try to do some shenanigans with blocks. Oh, reheating pizza with a foreman grill sounds interesting. You have those nice grill marks on your pizza? Just like Michael Scott's foot. So I didn't get jealous of pizza. I grabbed a box of chocolate chip Teddy Grahams. That's a good alternative. Oh, Serum Visions. That's a nice one to just trigger off your little Monastery Mentor. They have one card in hand, though. I guess that's all right. Now they have two. Yeah. It's like a mini helicopter. <laughs> Bunch of light commands in the chat. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Oh, you know. Just having some lights. All right, did they do nothing? They just let us go. This Ulamog is looking real awkward right now. But in the future. In the future is right. Only need three more lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're right. Or one Thran Dynamo. Oh, boy. The oven is good for reheating pizza. That's my that's my go-to for reheating pizza. G 
just going to pass here. If they play something EOT and we just bounce their three monks, it seems pretty good for us. Yeah, that's fine. And we gain a life too. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. You're basically dead. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to see what they do, and then we're going to attack them for a million with Lumbering Falls and Carnage Tyrant. Maybe. Yeah, give you a goblin shrine. <laughs> That's one less dude I got to deal with. Okay. Well. Yeah, I was like, there's no way you're taking two here. Really? No attacks, huh? Was, oh my god, are you serious? That one Finhorn Elves changes everything. Yeah, they should be basically dead if we had that. That's unbelievable. They just swords to plowshares of Finhorn Elves randomly. Wow. Interesting. So we don't know their other card, right? No. Sure. Throw as many of these guys away as you want. Oh boy. Oh boy. Cast. Return one creature, draw two cards. Or turn one, two, three, four, four, turn this one guy. Assuming they don't have, oh, it can't even have forcible here. Only have one card. So next turn we get Totarka. That's real good. <laughs> this guy is now lethal. Yikes. Oof. I even now, even knew you had that from duress. I'm a moron. That was a blowout. Uh, you can have Everflowing Chalice because you no longer have Monastery Mentor. I like this Karn uh, Merfolk Looter combination because then you just get to like... I mean, they could have taken the damage. They're at eight. They could have just taken it gone to one or they could have alternatively like uh, only blocked with some. Like they didn't have to block with everything because that's, that's what a blowout is. Also, Carnage Tower needs to control decks is just a utter, utter beating. Yeah, there's, they already use their council's judgment too. And we got them. Definitely go make sure you check out coolstuffinc.com for articles from me. And you can also use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. And another article of mine went up yesterday. So if you guys haven't done so, definitely check it out. And go leave a comment on the article itself. I would really appreciate that. It would mean a ton to me. Because then it's good engagement for the article. And it lets them know I'm doing well and it's well received, etc. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out meundies.com slash Lapore. Check out Manistrators. All the things. Links are in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.